hello friends welcome to edustrip.info and my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how you can implement a real-time messaging system for that i'm using firebase and i have an existing php application so there is the um, i need to i have my already php um, php application which has a login system and once user logged in then i want the i want to implement the messaging system for that we have uh, Google's platform that is Firebase. So I'm using NoSQL database. Uh, NoSQL database is one of the product of Firebase that provides real-time communication, and that is much easier compared to PHP because it's really difficult to implement real-time messaging system in PHP because PHP you know, we need to add additional. And uh, I actually searched a lot, but uh, it's really difficult to implement it in PHP. Uh, but with other languages such as Node.js and Python, it's quite easy because they provide WebSocket and using WebSocket we can achieve real-time communication easily. But in PHP that is actually not possible with with that much easily. But I'm not saying it's impossible. So for that we need to have a Firebase project. So and then you can create just visit the console.firebase.google.com. You visit here and create the project then go inside the project go to so you can see here uh, add a project so I already added a uh, six five, uh, five projects so you can click on this add project and it will pop up You'll have to mention the name of the project, the country, and you'll have to accept, accept the terms and condition. So mention the name of the project, like A B C D, and uh, this is your project ID. Mention the country, okay? Just uh, mention like uh, where you are living. So I'm living in India, so I'm looking for India. Okay, so choose India and uh, US Central accept it now it is giving me a message you have raised the project limit for your account so i cannot create it's a free account uh, for free account that is enough i can create my five projects i have already created so i cannot create more uh, and then you'll have to open the project once you created it okay let's it's a minor it is slow then you will have to have a php firebase admin sdk which you can download it from here but you don't need to download uh, this um, php firebase admin sdk because i already have in my project uh, folder which you can download it from here so you need to download this jf file extract it or you can clone it simple and then that's it we just need to get the okay it's loading here um you just need the configuration code okay so here you can see there is the option ios android web click on web uh, copy this config object it's a javascript object copy it simply copy it copy copy and open your uh, open the downloaded uh, zip file so this name might be different it will be maybe like messenger or something else but the inside folder will be same you have to go inside JS con faster config.js. You'll have to replace this config object with the object which you have just copied right now. That's it. And I have a backend that is completely written in PHP. So that's for creating account, log in the user, and uh, create chat record. And I already told you I have already added the PHP Firebase my admin SDK, so which you can see here. So it requires when you logged in and uh, if, you, if, if, if your user is logging to your system then Firebase is also needs a kind of authentication. That time I'm using custom token based authentication. You can see here this is a login user. It needs a username and password. So I'm just checking user exists or not or password is matching or not. This is the normal PHP code. And I declared an array. I mean, if user is logged in successful, I'm getting the message user UUID now if you don't i think you don't know or you may, if you don't know uuid it's a unique universal id 
you can generate this UUID using the SQL command select UUID. So here, here you can see the normal SQL query select UUID as UUID. So it will generate a 32 bit or I think 36 bit character that will always be unique for every users. And I'm saving in my database. So you I will get that UUID. So this is like primary key, auto incremented primary key. But right now I'm using UUID for more security. Once uh, this uh, I stored the UID, then I'm using the Firebase uh, method create custom token. You can read about this method in this doc available. Okay, installation yes or a such example. You can see the custom real time authentication. You can say authentication. Okay, and uh, you just need to use that function. So you'll have to add this file. Uh, you have to add this uh, li two lines of code which I already added here and then you'll have to uh, initialize your service account you'll have to mention a file dot json file name which I added in my constructor where I am create initializing my database connecting my database at the same time um, uh, giving access to the Firebase using my service account and here you can see the file name .json file which you can download from the your console okay just uh, close it here and uh, you can see the project project settings project service account wait for a minute then you will see a button called generate uh, service uh, primary key uh, generate, uh, generate, uh, generate new private key click over here and I already generated so just click over this generate key and it will download a .json file you'll have to add your json file here so you can see the my .json file here so you just need to replace with this file and you'll have to mention the name here that's it your firebase is initialized once initialized then you can do the custom authentication to the firebase login user once log uh, login username and then you're done you're done with the custom authentication you will have the custom token and you'll have to pass the custom token to the front end this token you'll have to pass in the front end then from the front end I will verify uh, this is a uh, authorized users right this is basically an array which has message user logged in successful user UUID and a token here I'm passing in the array structure which has a status 200 that means it's a success other than it is not success that's it here create chat record you don't need to you can see what I'm doing here I'm just creating a group uh, for the one-on-one -on -one chat get users list this is a basic SQL query and it's a logout function that's it the main thing is in front end chat.js uh, main.js sorry so once your user is trying to log in, so you'll get the username and password, pass it to the process.php page and it will give you back a response and an array. You'll have to pass the array and I already, I, I, I already told you what I'm sending from the backend that is login user. So it will have a user message, user UID and token. So you will receive these three things, message, user UID and token in the main.js file. okay so here you'll receive you'll check the status is 200 or not if it is 200 then it means it's success so if it is success then it will come back to this block of code it will skip this code and uh, you will see the uid is data dot user uid is not null then if it is not null then you will have to say chat.php means your user is locked in here i have the users So log out, log out. Let me log in. This one password. So it's login and it's also authorized from the Firebase. That's it. Now here I'm going to log in as.
both are logged in and now this is Rizwan and this is Zoya and the Rizwan wants to message Zoya so just click on Zoya say hi to Zoya Khan and Zoya wants to message Rizwan so you can see here and uh, you, you can see the list of messages already so let's see this is Rizwan account okay Rizwan is going to message Zoya so hi Zoya send you can see the hi Zoya so it's completely real time thing okay so this is all for configuration and installation once you're done and I will show you the backend thing so backend I have only two tables chat record and users and for to more clarification you can uh, come to the website this is here I have written everything very clearly you can follow the instruction steps and you can configure it easily you can download the project folder from my github account so messenger.get and then you'll have to execute this database command create database php firebase then table users table then chat record table that's it and then once you are done then you will start logging or registering then you will see all the register messages and everything in the fire fire store database which is available here so firebase provides two kinds of database one is real-time database and another way one is cloud fire show so i'm using i'm not using real-time database i'm using cloud fire show it is also real-time database and newly added in the list of firebase so it's a no sql database so this is a collection which you can treat as a table and this is the documents which you can say the individual rows and this is the primary key or unique key every key has an id so whenever you push a message that message comes here and whenever a change occur here that will automatically reflect in the window here so in the later videos or in the future videos i will show you how to implement uh, firebase database and everything like uh, how you can do but right now you can use this uh, plugin plug and play code just add it in your system and that's it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe